it'll take you forward. And that might be one step. It might be 10 steps, but it's, it's a matter of measuring progress. And that's the whole point of growth. You measure progress, not by looking at where you're going, but you measure progress by seeing from behind where you've been and the distance that you've gained along that. And, and once again, I think about a lot of financial brand leaders when we were writing and researching banking on change. The majority of financial brand leaders feel stuck doing whatever it is that they're doing. They, they're not creating the space. They're not creating the time to review and to reflect on where they've been, the progress that they've made, the wins they've experienced, to have the gratitude, but also to gain perspective with lessons that they've learned. And if you think back, I mean, let's just go back to Jim Maroos, 55 years old. Look back from where you're at today to when you were 55 and all the progress that you've made along the way. What have you learned? If, if you go back, what have yeah, been the yeah. greatest lessons that you've learned over, over those years? R greatest lessons in is applying more today than ever before is never stop moving forward. Um, at the end of the day, as I said, I've been humbled by the fact that there are things that people talk about today I don't understand at all, but I'm not afraid to stick my neck out and, and find out what they mean and, and how they may change over time. Um, to always be aware that you are replaceable unless you make yourself invaluable. Um, world, you know, in a personal relationship or a business relationship is a value transfer. I think when we talk about people that have lost their jobs, which is really where the whole beginning of this conversation started, people have to ask themselves daily, am I providing value to my, my world around me beyond what I'm getting back? And yeah, I, I will add to the fact that um, I've realized that the way I view things is different now than it was when I was 55 and certainly different than when I was 40 from the standpoint of humility and, and the ability to, to not be fearful of falling. But, you know, if I was in a marketing position today, I know nine tenths of what I need to know to do the job. I don't know myself. You know, read the book by Roger Rajmanir, the, the CMO of MasterCard and quantum marketing. And yeah. you realize, oh my God, there's so much that I don't know. In fact, I tell people, if you got out of university, a master's program in marketing in a university three years ago, there is more that you don't know than you do know. That is insane amount of speed, but that's what's happening. So what do you have to do? Find people around you that can help you do better. Find those partners, those collaborators, those leaders that will make you smarter and reach out to them. People like to be asked their opinion on things. They, you know this. You do this for a living. You know, they love to be on your podcast. And there's not one that you don't learn something that you didn't expect to learn when you went in the podcast. Absolutely. So you, become, you have a bigger vessel. You have to get the mind open to say, okay, I got to drop something that I, I thought was so important. It probably isn't. And put this in its place. Well, and I think one thing you, you, you shared going back to when reflecting on 55, and I think it's, it's very applicable for those that feel like they are losing their jobs they're stuck. They're struggling. You said, don't be afraid to fail. Yeah. Okay. I, it's easier to say that, I think. Yeah. And I'm one, I'm one who has that philosophy as well. Like yeah. in the lay household, I tell my kids all the time, you either win or you learn. Like there's no failure here. You, you can't, you can't fail because, well, maybe Maybe the only failure is the fact that you didn't learn something to apply to the next go around. But for someone who's watching or listening, and maybe they have lost their job, they're like, well, that's easy for y'all to say. Like, what's the what's what's been the biggest failure that you've experienced that you're willing to share? And I, you know what? We're gonna, I'll, I'll lead on this one. I'll no. lead on this one. I'll lead on this okay, one. Good. I'll lead on this one. The biggest thing. And I've shared this before on the podcast, but maybe someone hasn't heard this. Go back to 2012, October 4th, October 4th, 2012. My wife comes to me and says, it's the business or the family. We had had our second child six months before 
And externally, people looked at James Robert Lay and thought, my gosh, this kid is, I was 30 years old, started the business eight years before. Like, he's he's killing it. Life must be great. He's going everywhere. He's starting to speak, um, conferences, winning awards with you know, for, his, for his agency. Yeah, well, guess what? James Robert Lay on the inside was in a very dark place because... Two years before, December, January of, of 2010, December of 2009, January of 2010, I was diagnosed with an autoimmune condition. Didn't tell anyone about it. And um, went down deep depression. Struggled with some addiction along the way. But the good thing was, is that my wife called me out. You talk about surrounding yourself with people who aren't afraid to call you out. She called me out. I needed help. I called in a guy, David C. Baker, worked with other firms, other agencies. He actually worked with Tim McAlpine with Currency over the years. And David came in and he said, you know what? I think you should blow your business up and start over. I'm like, well, how am I going to do that? What am I supposed to do? He goes, that's for you to figure out. You called me in to give you the path forward. That was the path forward. And that's exactly what we did. In January of 2013, we blew the agency up. It had been a 10-year-old business. We started over. Here we are, almost a little over a decade later. And the lessons learned, we've had failures along the way, but that was not a failure. That was a tremendous lesson learned that we could apply going forward. It's like every quote-unquote failure since then has been a new lesson going forward.